going to make sure I hit the right buttons tonight. Did we, did we... Wait, we've got starting items. Hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's Daily Race Circuit on Speed Gaming 3. We are playing... Um, uh... Oh, it's potpourri. It's like ambrosia, but it's not for the taste. It's for the smell, right? What an introduction we've got today here, Roof. <laughs> Season 7 potpourri, a latter classic. We can, are, can we call this a classic yet? How long ago was Season 7? Almost two years ago? Ten, ten seasons ago. What has happened to time? Anyway, it's Zeruvian. I have Zeke here with me tonight. In the background, Akohesh is already tracking three items for each runner. Those are a hookshot, a flute, and an ice rod. What may we do with those, Zeke? Well, it's kind of nice to start with Hookshot and Ice Rod in this mode, because uh, along with these starting items, the community also voted for uh, a couple of interesting settings, such as Boss Shuffle. Yeah, we've got a full Boss Shuffle on here tonight. It is an open world state, but you do have to fight every boss in all dungeons. That means we'll be seeing Castle Tower, Ganon's Tower, and all ten of the prize dungeons on the world, light and dark. There's one other little caveat here, Zeke. What is that? Well, uh, it wouldn't be a much fun doing all dungeons if uh, we could just dive in with the items and call it a day. No, uh, we decided small key shuffle and big key shuffle are on the table. Note, this is not full key sanity. Maps and compasses are in their default dungeons. So in some here, we've got open. We've got three starting items. We have a starting flute. We have to do all dungeons. Our bigs and small keys are everywhere. And our bosses can be anyone with three guaranteed duplications. This is a fun type of mode that we only got to see once, man. Uh, b before we get started, maybe we should introduce the runner's roof. Oh yeah, we got two pretty... Uh, I, you might have heard of these guys. You might have heard these guys' voices. You might have actually followed them here on Twitch before. Yeah, right, I'll go Sniper99, Jesse, and MindDM giving us the run through potpourri tonight. And despite the fact that we have been given permission in the past that he just goes by, he, he will let us use his name of Jesse because it's publicly used. So uh, expect us to call him that. Radical Sniper 99 is also Jesse. And that is just a couple of names on the screen here. We've got 13 total entrants in tonight's daily race, and we are going to see the start. Both people starting at Link's house, getting 20 bucks. Mind game sprite gives me nostalgia. You used to run the radius sprite. I did. That's a cape over at the floodgate. Cape is a pretty interesting thing to find early here. A little bit of magic. Hey, you can take use of that ice rod already. Let's go. I mean, just that little bit of magic means you could uh, do an ice rod escape here. Hey, uh, video game. I, I know we're calling it randomizer, but uh, did, do you mind not putting the swamp small in its opposite world location, please? That was a swamp small already in the in the flooded area there. Uh, free bombs is pretty nice for Jesse here in the back of the tavern. TR small over in Secret Passage chest. And that Maybe active three of flute. Those. That is that is an active flute. Uh, most modes that start you with a flute will have an active flute unless otherwise stated. Unless you're playing standard, because you can't have an active flute in rain state. The game kinda doesn't like that. We don't want to let people accidentally break things by doing so. It is nice to get those early bombs and be able to just clear Kakarika. Yeah, it's great that you can just do a bunch. and You'll probably find more bombs anyway, but just having this peace of mind that you can open everything you want here. And uh, Moon Pearl already in our hands here. It's worth noting, one thing that makes this mode a lot of fun is despite the fact that so there are some players who complain about not having boots, but you do have the next best thing. You have the other two mobility items in the game. Yeah, and something on its own to be said about just having fun hooking around to everything that you can just pull yourself towards. You see Jesse already... Uh, it, yeah, it it's a lot of fun, whether you miss or not. <laughs> it also takes a lot of practice. 
I... Oh yeah, to be able to uh, just kind of, you know how Spider-Man swings from buildings in, uh, in Metropolis, in pretty much any publication of Spider-Man ever. You get to do that with the hook shot, but only if you know how to aim. And aiming is not precise, even for the most polished runner. Some extra money means we can get Bottle Merchant. Uh, we have seen two big keys so far. And one of them is a dungeon that we can uh, look at but not get to just yet. Now, with this flute and the hook shot, we can go to Paradox Cave. So, non-zero chance of seeing a hammer or a mirror in that direction. Pulpery has a very large Sphere 1. Things you can do with only the stuff you start with. And it helps that the stuff you start with is um, some pretty good stuff. I, I always smile at bombs where you would otherwise normally see bombs in uh, vanilla. I, I was just smiling when a, a comment I remember back when we were voting on this mode. Uh, well, uh, oh, hey, <laughs> which... Yes, Fear One, let's go! We're going fast all night long! Uh, I remember somebody trying to convince people to vote for the boomerang, the book, and the mushroom for your starting items. Oh. Why the mushroom in particular? Because I thought it was funny. I, I mean, at that point you might as well start with the uh, with the bug net, the cape, and the, and two shields. I don't know. Free bombs. We like that. Never complain about free bombs. Unless a Hinox is providing them, then you absolutely complain about free bombs. At that point, they're not free. Oh, he's throwing them at you. They're free. They're just also volatile. Just piece of heart on Lumberjack, so uh, I wouldn't expect too much chance of our runners going up Castle Tower before the end of the game. I mean, you never know. The only thing we see here might be two Castle Tower keys and a, and a uh, sword before we actually go, oh, we're out of things to do. Let's go into the dark world, I guess. Hey, that's well, a convenient glove spot. It is, because... Uh... You could just run right over here to the right and go get those checks. Yeah, you can, uh, you can absolutely justify just saving and quitting out of the back of escape here. Or if you get the key, which you won't. I say that now. <laughs> you could if, go to Dark Cross from here. If we pull a key, I'm going if to be so If we pull mad. the small key to Hyrule Castle, I'll be like, why is that there? But probably not. Are you serious? Really? Come on! Really? <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, uh, what's a dark cross, Zeke? You know, you think I'd stop being surprised by this at some point, <laughs> having been with friends with you for so long, but that is just out of this world. Un unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even... I can't make this up. It, yeah, there's someone in chat who was once in my stream and said, uh, <laughs> Stop talking, Ruby! You make things happen! <sighs> Please keep talking. It would be very lonely if I, did, were the only, if I were the only one talking here. Oh, Akuhaish would come join you. It's great. Honestly, the mountain's probably the thing I would do here. Uh, both runners are now going to head on that. Nah, I lied. Um, Radical Sniper going to hit up Mini Moldworm Cave. Let's see if Jesse finds any treasure there. Mind DM is going to have a look on the mountain. At the very least, we'll rescue this old man. He played one. He played 20 rupees into my pocket. That's not how that song goes. With a knick-knack paddywhack, watch out for that boulder. Ouch. Literally ouch. Oh, dodge the second one, though. Right, we get a small key to uh, Skullwoods. Game's still going like to ask you to get all three. Oh, yeah, one is all you need, but... That's a stab! We've got a sword. Life is beautiful. 
Hey, Ruby. Why are the flippers just in the mountain, then? We can get to Dark Maze in uh, Castle Tower. Uh, we sure can. We have a lamp and a single key. That was a key we saw there as well. We're going to see the flippers picked up by MindDM here. You wonder maybe he goes in the direction that Jesse is currently in and get a sword. I would imagine the hammer is probably not too far behind at this point to uh, put us up into Tower of Harrow since we do have that big key. I also wouldn't be surprised if it was just on Zora or something. But though, I, I'm worried about having a weapon going into Hera. Except you could probably get by with um, just one sword, depending on who happens to be there. If uh, Mindium's able to get up there, then there's a 50-50 chance of Mindium having a weapon, because uh, how do you get to Hera from at the current equipment? Well, you need a mirror to get from the west side of the mountain, or the hammer to get from the east side of the top of the mountain. And Mindium barely making it to Paradox Cave. Those dead rocks with no way of really doing anything to them other than, like, the hook shot to stun them is kind of scary. That was a small key we like to see when we have a hammer and before we clear the dungeon. Yeah, that's a small key you always want before you go into its prospective dungeon. But you'd also like, uh, as we said, the hammer. Uh, that is a big key in a very unfortunate position. It is, and we know it's in logic, but Jesse doesn't. Right, so that big key could actually end up being uh, going to Eastern to get a hammer or something, for all we know. Why are we focused on the hammer again? I don't oh, wait, know. Maybe you it's, it, I mean, you need everything. It's all dungeons! It's my favorite text to read in Mystery. You must complete all dungeons. That was sarcasm. I was going to say, that isn't what you said last time you streamed Mystery. <laughs> and let's see what else we have visible tonight. That's just $20. We don't care about that. And what mm -hmm. have we got in here? You know, interestingly, MindDM has not uh, gone and gotten his glove out of Bonk Rocks just yet. I thought he did before going up the mountain. Did he? I don't remember him going that way. I thought he just fluted up the mountain after Lost Woods. That's the big key to Skull Woods. That's another check we can just clean up the dungeon with when we get there. Another key we like to have before going to the dungeon. Here comes the flute. I imagine this is a flute to seven. Yeah, you, you did get Paradox Cave and uh, off to visit at least Zora Ledge. Not having the money to pay Zora is a little bit sketchy here. And he won't get the money going up, so... No. I'm still thinking that big key is to Eastern, and there's got to be something in Eastern. Desert Palace and uh, our Mitt and Mir are in Eastern. Desert Palace is in Eastern, got it. Dungeon Simple. You don't have you know you don't really hear of a lot of like just dungeon shuffling in entrance. It's not usually it our uh, community's thing. You usually see that kind of thing from like the three D Zelda games. You also see uh, stuff like that from, like, Z1. Well, I mean, Z1's all randomized. No, chat, don't be don't be misled by me just being a goober. There is no entrance shuffle at all. It's just straight up open. Yeah, it's open. The, it's open all dungeons with some uh, keys shuffled. And some bosses. How often do we fear about the boss shuffle until we walk into a dungeon? What do you mean it's a Helmosaur at the top of the tower? The Moldorm in Skullwoods, anybody? It occurs to me that this... It, it just occurred to me, Ruby, as uh, our runners are retracing each other's steps for a moment. The... 
potpourri settings are kind of the inverse settings of uh, one of the main tournament modes. This one's open. This one's open with small key shuffle and boss shuffle. The other one's map compass shuffle with boss shuffle. Yeah, we do have uh, that, as we call it, uh, the MC shuffle coming up in the main tournament qualifiers in just a couple weeks here. Those will be done mostly asynchronously, but you will see a race of each mode on Speed Gaming. Hopefully. Schedule pending, of course. It really is unfortunate we don't have money for Zora yet. I mean, it's very easy to have gotten. It's just neither runner has gone to do that. Well, I mean, in fact, if, have, uh, if he does have the glove, he can't easily get a Hulahan off, for one. Right, you'd have to do a like a, a bonk on the edge of a screen to do a Link's position offset, and then drop into either Uncle or um, Useless Fairy. And then Jesse would have to do the back of escape Hulahan right now, as he has just picked up the flippers, but he does have a glove, and that's the easy way to do it that way. In fact, until that one rupee right there, if he had done so... Jesse would have had exactly $500. Now he'll have a penny. I am still considering the concept of uh, Castle Tower right now. We haven't seen Hyrule Castle either. And we know while um, we are going over to Eastern, uh, we're going to see what this big key is from MindDM2. We know Castle Tower has got two available checks for us between Cape and the first key and a lamp. And everything in Hyrule Castle is in logic right now. That's a desert big key. I told That's you it was a desert palace big key. Just want it to be Eastern so badly. Well, desert currently doesn't do anything for us. No, it does not. I mean, neither does that second bottle, although the potion will be nice for later. Yeah, it looks like you were right. Uh, Mindium did not yet have his glove. A bee? A uh, little known fact that a lot of newer runners don't know about. You can sell golden bees for 100 rupees piece. You also just need to be stood to the left so the weather vane is out of range and has a fire rod. That is one hot rod. Actually, that fire rod pretty much puts us in boss mode already, doesn't it? Uh... That depends. What are your thoughts on Fighter Sword Trinex? Spin to win, baby. Well, Hello, friends made, uh, in chat. Oh, that made Cold Star a lot easier. That made Cold also, Star easier. Basically, a high five in the doorway by these two. Mind Dam doesn't have any bottles yet. Wait, no, he, I think he did. Does, did, wasn't there one in Paradox? No? No, it was in Back of Escape. It's Back of Escape and Back of Saha, isn't it? Yeah, the second one, the uh, good B was behind Saha. Yeah, ten arrows. We don't need those. And like you said, good, mo good morning to our friends in chat who are yelling at us. All caps is cruise control for cool, don't you know? Do people still say that? Am I making uh, myself seem older by the minute? A little bit. Uh, hey, look, it's old Agina's cave. Speaking okay. of old people. Go back to the day of uh, referring to it as maze mode. <laughs> we are going to see the front of escape. There's the other single dollar. Oh, uh, you know what? He, I thought about him thinking about just going for it. And we're going to see Castle Tower instead. I like this, actually. I mean, first we were seeing Electrocution. <laughs> well, Using Bomba to well, speed up the process. Yeah, we're also going to see the uh, easy button. We are not staples, Fruvy. Am I remembering my stores correctly? For which com yes, unfortunately you are. <laughs> okay. Small key to Turtle Rock. Yep. Near simultaneous pickups on both sides for one and two. 
starting flute, starting hook, starting ice rod, bosses shuffled full, and big and small keys shuffled, but not maps and compasses. I miss what was, was in Castle um, Tower Dark. Nice. I looked at it briefly, then I heard and saw red on Jesse's screen because he picked up $80 from a tier 2 tree pole. And he's going to do the front of escape first. It was just money in uh, the second check of CTL. Thank you, Akuhish. By the way, did we mention we have a tracker who's having to put up with our nonsense tonight? This is not the first time Aku's put up with our nonsense either. Won't be the last time either. There's just the hammer! We have and Dark that's also Sphere 1. <laughs> you it still is. chase down here because, um... Yeah, you still chase down here because it's in logic, and you're here. Mostly because you're here. MindDM doesn't know it's in logic. Because I kind of made the key appear in the back of Escape, remember? <laughs> Which is why the other thing of... We're here. Yep. Ooh, I might have to learn that spin. Nice bow, by the way. So suddenly, um... We have no keys for pod, but when we do, we can finish. That's, you know... What big key? I said, we have no keys for pod, but when we do, we can finish. You could go in with the bow and the hammer. And we have everything required. We're in boss mode in under 20 minutes. What the heck? The fun of this mode. I'm curious... Jesse deciding to set up a death warp here. He Here's has to. Map. He's going back for Castle Tower. True. Did, wait. Did he not know that was the map? Uh. Key Sandy Brain. Ah, uh, okay. Easy mistake. Yeah, my DM won't know that this is the map. Also, uh, I'd like to point out that my DM used my favorite strategy for killing that guard. Well, don't keep it to yourself. He froze the green guard and threw it at the ball and chain guard. Oh, yeah. So if you are not familiar with the Final Fantasy soundtrack, this is probably an MSU that you'll have heard for one of the first times. Uh, recently approved for restream use on Speed Gaming Network channels, is this Final Fantasy mix. The author should probably raise her hand in chat to let you know that she's awesome. I will always smile at the Junin March from Final Fantasy VII going up Castle Tower. I don't know why. Uh, remind, hey Ruby, remind me to pick this MSU up after this is over. Okay. Hey Zeke, okay. Uh, pick this MSU up after this is over. Thanks. You're welcome. So, uh, we have Dark World access. Where do you want to go? Hype Cave, please. You knew that was the obvious answer, right? Well, I mean, we were judging it entirely on where Jesse was going at this moment. Well, I mean, it's the single most dense thing you can do. I mean, you can probably go knock down Skull Woods if you really wanted to. But I, mean, I think it makes more sense to start looking at what other checks you can make first. Is this why I admit that I would go knock down Skull Woods right now? I mean, if I have a Fire Rod, I'm definitely much more inclined to go to Skull Woods than to Hype Cave and end up in this general direction. Oh, hey, we need that. Oh, we do. That is the big key of Evil's Bane. That's another big key. That's the eastern big hey, key that I've been expecting. Hey, there's the eastern big key you want. Hey, that's the other thing I want. Yo. Quiet. Uh, where do we... I, I realized what I was about to do and stopped immediately. <laughs> so... <laughs> Question from chat where the fire rod was. The fire rod is sitting in... It's, it's underneath the lazy kid's bed. It keeps him warm at night. Um, you have to show him a bottle and he'll be like, here you go. I don't know what to do with this magical stick, but I am way too warm at night and I don't have any windows to open. Oh, hey. Magic dust. Chalk. It's literally just a bag of ground chalk. Hey, where did the stumpy get that? <laughs> I I got nothing. <laughs> Spring is in the air, by the way. It's finally warm here. 
warmer or anyway. Alright, we have a little bit of route divergence from Cave. We do. We're gonna see the pyramid. And maybe catfish? And we're going to see a lot of dicks. I mean, I'd, I'd say the line, but I don't want to. That's $20. Wow. Our tracker says they were 24 digs. I can dig it. I'm glad there it is. All right. Uh, well, we have the Easter big key. We have a bow, so we might as well see if we can kill this boss or not. Wait, yes, we can. We might as well just defeat this boss. We also have a lamp, so it's all in logic, too. Oh, absolutely. The question is, how comfortable is this dive into Eastern? I, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty comfortable. The question comes down. I mean, the thing I would be most afraid of would be running into either a Trinex or a Cold Stare back here. The Fire Sword, Hammer, Cold Stare, or Hammer Only Trinex is kind of a thing. I'm sorry, I got completely distracted by uh, the Temple of Chaos here. Oh, look, a small key, and that's probably, and it is, our first pod key. Uh, was that the map or the compass? That's that the compass. Was, That's Argus. It's Argus, and it's a lot nicer than what we were just thinking about. You and I were both thinking about Trinex at the same time, weren't we? Actually, you know what I was thinking about for what would be a rude boss here? At our current equipment stage. Mm. The giant pile of eyeballs. The trees isn't that bad outside of his own arena, though. You have he a little a, bit more say he on... the uh, sword and wooden arrows. You also have the ability to come in with full arrows and bombs and a fighter sword and a hammer. You can literally just stand off to the side and shoot arrows at him and you're okay. I'm guaranteeing that the big key chest also has an item for us here. Is there anything in particular we would like to see from this uh, Eastern Palace right now? Another sword. You know, actually, I take that back. I think if I'm in this position, I probably want the mirror. Mirror opens up some uh, not-so-great checks, but allows you to kind of go around Village of Outcasts and clean stuff up with relative ease, and it also opens up an entire dungeon that we can do, courtesy of the location of its small key, kind of in its chocolate position. I, for a moment, I like, there's a big key in the big key chest. Yeah. And my brain tried to go say something about it being possible vanilla big key, even though we already have big key. Even though we already opened the big chest. It's a nice big key to have because you know you're going to need it. But it's not nice to have because you know that it's going to be tempting to go in there once you have mitts, cane, and, you know. Two keys. Two keys. You need two Third. keys to get down there regardless. Uh-huh. Imagine that third key. It'll play off the idea of a vanilla location for something. In this case, since the opposite of vanilla is chocolate, the opposite of the vanilla location, this being the uh, the dam in the light world is where the swamp small was, is what I'd like to call a chocolate location. For those of you Ruby, who like chocolate I haven't had there. dinner yet. Can we talk, stop talking about food? All right, I, I won't mention a Pizza Heart next time we see one, then. <laughs> there we go. Argus, uh, 
Not playing quite as nice here for the ice rod from Jesse. So we are going to see the hammer pulled out. Ow. Dude, body by a giant like eyeball squid. Yeah. Oh, be careful. He still does two hearts of damage. Yeah, he's fine. And in fact, he's dead. Goodbye, Argus. <laughs> no! That is no. not what we wanted to see out of Eastern. I mean... Counter-argument, Roof. Tower of Hera into Dark Death Mountain. Eh. I think Myths just opens up too much to have to think about all at once here. That's why I don't want it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go into Village of Outcasts. That is perfectly acceptable. Well, we're going to check the powder first. That powder was where? It was on Stumpy. Stumpy. Yeah, it's, it's Stumpy's, uh, it's Stumpy's sidewalk chalk. Mm -hmm. They took from the kids playing in the, uh, in the Grove Park. That, that's, that's mean. Why would you do that? Stumpy's not a bully. No, he's a misunderstood non-villain. Mindyam is having a little trouble with the double spins. Which, admittedly, <laughs> not an easy strategy at all. It's a lot more comfortable to do this with a Master Sword than with a Fighter Sword. You can get it done with a Fighter Sword, but you put yourself in harm's way at certain angles, like we just saw. Mm -hmm. And uh, even being careful and having the right amount of finesse can still make this a difficult fight to tangle out with. So getting out of that. And now in Oko is my DM. A little scary here. And now we're playing the DVD logo game. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> One more. That's a GT small in Meyer Shed, by the way. We like having one of those. At least one. Maybe two. That depends on how many key how much I'm missing going into GT. It's kind of a mode where you might not actually see a map check anytime in the near future, unless you're talking about, okay, what dungeon's dependent and where are my keys at? So, um, this is a dungeon that can be a little scary on the boss shuffle. Yeah, even though that Skull Woods cannot have some of the not so nice bosses like Trinex. It can have some pretty nasty bosses like Armos Knights on that moving floor in the Spike Arena. Cold Stare. Or Vitreous. Blind on that floor is terrible too. Especially in that opening row when he's on the top side of the arena. He's almost impossible to hit unless you're using some kind of projectile. Luckily, our runners do have a cape to make that a little bit easier. Also, hook shot to go bouncing back and forth between the two little, two solid blocks on either side of the arena. Oh, absolutely. I'm also seeing calls for the helicopter. <laughs> oh There's no! There's always calls for helmosaur on, on conveyor belt. The saddest thing you can have here, besides Moth in his original arena, because Moth in his original arena is um, the most dangerous form of fair. It's not fair. For you. And then there's Moldorm, where it's not fair for Moldorm. For yeah. Moldorm unfortunately gets absolutely nerfed pretty much anywhere he can be. Which is everywhere. I think the most dangerous Moldorm, other than the vanilla, can knock you down. Okay, I was about to be upset if that was a vanilla key. Uh, most dangerous one, other than in his vanilla arenas at the top of the towers, would probably be uh, at the bottom of the GT. Oh, on ice? <laughs> we already know what chat wants to see there. Uh, blind. Ah, yes. The world-famous musical Blind on Ice. Mindy, I'm giving us a look at King's Tomb, just a heart container here. 
And back to the mountain. We're going to see Dark Death Mountain here. Probably Tower of Hera, too. And uh, who's down this pit, do you think, Roof? I'm going to say it's a Vitreus tonight. Why, game? Well, uh, at least you're comfortable with this fight, usually. Maybe. I mean, at least it's no harder than it would normally be, which is a blessing. But it's no easier, either, which is not quite. So you come in here ready to face anything but Moth, and there he is. And, uh, he still hurts. He's still Mothula. And he's still immune to spikes. And we're still in Oko. And we are now at Warden Heart. And I believe Jesse has potions. Jesse? Oh, he's going to he's gonna go for it. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good attempt, though. It really was. That's a fight where the longer it goes on, the harder it gets. Oh, that, that fight literally just... It makes you think about it. Yeah, there's the green getting popped now, so we're not going to have to farm any magic in here and wait forever to get back into the fight here. Luckily, unlike Blind... There's the pod big key. Oh, my. Luckily, Choose unlike Blind... Uh... <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, Wallmaster, how could you? I, the, sometimes the Wallmaster's hitbox is a little bit unforgiving. And meanwhile, uh, you get a, a showing of the Raiden pot. Yeah, the, it, everyone's new favorite way to just tell us Tower of Hera doesn't actually exist. I don't like that, Zeke. That's our third TR small. Uh, that's fine. We don't have a can Mario. Doesn't matter. We have a moth at the top here, too. Okie dokie. Well, that tells us a couple of things. One, uh, Tower of Hair is a free fight. Oh, absolutely. There's not much and, moth can do up here to do any harm to you whatsoever. And two, um, I, if you like moth, you'll, I have bad news. These are the last fights you'll see of him. I like uh, him Jesse, better with his vanilla this. palette. Does I like Jesse still have one fire rod shot? shot? Or is that a misleading amount of magic in the meter? I think that's a misleading amount of magic. I think I like, that is like... I hate that. Oh no, oh no. Well, this is, uh, this is scary. And like Zeke said earlier, the longer this fight goes on... There we go, we got him. The, uh more of a threat <laughs> the more of a threat moth becomes actually if you actually let that fight go on too long moth will begin to flutter around the, the arena at double speed and that's where things really get scary uh the, also, so uh, the record, uh because this is a ladder mode uh ladder tends to not take out the duplicate items so like if you're watching casual boots ladder race the boots will still show up my favorite is when they show up on a torch or you know the starting items like that ice rod will just pop up wherever the heck they darn well please and that one happened to be on the moth tonight hmm what if there's a cane on dark death mountain right now i told you i wasn't happy about that third tr small that's okay. Jesse's just going to find it in the Skullwood's big chest. <laughs> Interesting looking cane of Samaria. Yes, it's broken into ten little pieces. They're all sharp, though. All right, now Pod is looking spicy, because that's another key. There's our second GT small, and we, that makes three known Pod smalls here. Uh, have we seen the map yet? No, neither runner has given us a gander at the map. We do know that we I have... I think this must be a map here, then. Oh, you mean the, oh, you mean the map? Uh... Okay. Yay, key sanity brain! <laughs> 
If I was playing, I'd probably have done the same thing. Me? Yeah, me too. I, I'm very bad at remembering that maps and compasses are vanilla. Oh, hey. Hey! Blue mail! Blue Suit Riot. From Rydia. We're gonna see Spike Cave? We're gonna see Spike Cave. I mean, you're up here. The, the argument for everything can't be, well, we're here. That's a big key on Bumper. Hmm. I wonder if that's Thieves Town. That'd be conve too convenient. No, this is Swamp Palace. Ew. Before we've gone to Swamp Palace. What? Ew. That's no, gonna be Meyer. There aren't any other big keys to be like, oh, it's this one. A sword. That's a. It is Meyer, as a matter of fact. That's a nice spot for a sword. No, it's not. No, it is. Uh, hold on while I attack somebody about us not having a runner's command. When? Make sure you follow these guys, by the way. Their please, handles are please. exactly as they say. It is Radical Sniper ninety nine and Mind DM. One moment. Okay, so uh, what's here in Village of Outcasts today, do you think? What's in Village of Outcasts? Um, a few houses, a frog that it's turned into a smith. Uh, We're seeing Peg Cave. You're going to see what's Peg gonna be Cave. Here? We have a Thieves Town in here, too. Oh, good. A oh, mushroom. good. A mushroom. Shoutouts to TJ Maelstrom. If he was here, he'd deliver that line with a lot more moxie than we have. You get kind of tired of seeing the mushroom after a while. So, uh, we have Boss Shuffle, right? Uh, last I checked. There's one little trait about Boss Shuffle in this dun in the dungeon we're next to specifically. Uh, you know that entire path to go save the Maiden? Yeah, it's uh, kind of asking you to have that small key, for one. For two, it's kind of not as exciting when you can just walk into the boss room and call it good. That said, to do that, we need a boss key. Yeah, that's kind of still missing in action here. Also, we see that Thieves is one of our pendants. And you know what that means, Zeke? Uh, Thieves and Big Key can be... Uh, in Ganon's Tower? Uh, sure can. East Town Big E can be anywhere not blocked by seven crystals. Which is why it's going to be right here in Thieves Town? I don't like that you said that. I'm pretty sure this is a credits theme. Yes, but which one? Uh, it sounds like Final Fantasy IVs to me. But that could be the fact that I play too much Final Fantasy IV. Oh, hey, the other armor upgrade. Yep, we're going to have red mail very shortly on that Rydia, and that is one tanky hornet. Uh, also, that's not uh, hornet. That is, that hornet. is the that hollow. Is, that's or actually that is, knight. Got it. That is okay. knight. I, I forgot. That's usually uh, someone else that we hang out with that usually plays as hornet, which is why we call, call it the, uh, the bug battle when the two of these are on the same screen. Anywho, uh, thank you to our friends in the behind the scenes at Speed Gaming for fixing that. Make sure you follow those two the next time we put the exclam R in chat. Or anytime you feel like it. I mean, the exclam R has been put in chat. They should go click those links and follow those runners. Let's not abuse the exclam R. Let's not abuse the exclam C either. Uh, well, I'm just, from when I was saying, from when our friends behind the scenes said to throw the command in to make sure it was working. Well, yeah. <laughs> we have a mushroom turn in, and the mushroom yields for us today a piece of heart. Just one. Just a little bit. We're gonna pick up some potions here because you never know when you might run into a trinex and. 
we're still only on one sword. Do you know what I'm thinking about for Dungeon Clear? We're actually going to Zora the intended way. Oh. Uh, this is a little strange. But, hold on. Hear me out. Jesse knows Look but at... hasn't picked up that key yet. Well, yes, but also he, also, he knows about this key. Look at our tracker. We have all of the keys to just I go was into Ice Palace. I thinking about the Ice Palace before we noticed this happen, so... This fight with Moth is not going well for either runner. No, and even though we have an extra sword for Mind DM, it's still painful. And a mail upgrade, so instead of taking two hearts from a Moth attack, it's one, and it's still painful. But we are there. Well done. Still funny. So yeah, what are your thoughts about Ice Palace? Uh, thanks, I hate it. I feel like that's where Jesse is going. Why else, Why would, else you would you be walking walk out of, out of Zora's domain? domain? Yeah, it's absolutely going to be that. Okay. I mean, I, I do think maybe I would have to time this out that a save quit and fleet would be faster, but you still have to run across the bottom screen here. All right, it is Ice Palace time. That is correct. Since map and compass are not shuffled, we can look at all of the... We can look at all of the prizes that each dungeon has, and also we can know the boss just by walking in and pressing the X button. So, yes. Um, chat not would like quite. you two to know... Not quite. Oh, you have to collect the compass. You have map. to get the compass. But you do have map information on the overworld map. Can, it, can we shout out this MSU once again? Yeah. Although, because, uh, uh, this big is... bridge in ice this... still makes me feel like I'm an uncanny valley for Final Fantasy-type MSUs. I mean, I, I don't care where the song is. I will shout it out every time. It's a good song. Understandable. Also, uh, chat wants these two to know. Jesse, mind DM, if you watch this back and you're not reading back the chat, uh, chat wants you to know you two are clowns, okay? Check your map, silly. <laughs> are being told that's not new information. Gee. Wait a second. Yes. I'm, I'm wondering if Leo decided to put music from Final Fantasies 1 through 7 and Crystal Dungeons 1 through 7. Oh, oh, that's brilliant if that's the case. I like that. Anyways, uh, no. Ice Palace <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ice pa you know, it's, 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 uh, arcane tech. It's like, it's like old witchcraft. But it's also a good way to just... Go all the way through without worrying about going away the intended way. You don't want to do Vanilla Ice Palace. Trust me. Uh, well, I might have to steal that tech. I've never done that. Oh, I didn't notice this our first time through, but that was a vanilla 300 in Sea House. This is my surprised face. It sounds like your normal face. Yeah, how do you know what my face sounds like? Can you hear the face that I'm making right now? That Hera basement key. Thanks, Gabe. I mean, Jesse hasn't been up to Tower of Hera yet, and I don't remember if we found all the items in there. For uh... all we know, it could also just be a map or compass down there. I honestly don't remember. We have a uh, we have a Helmosaur sitting in Thieves Town. That's a good arena for Helmosaur. Yes, it is. It's not bigger than as usual, and it doesn't it's have not any hazards. The top of the tower. And it's not the top of either tower. It's also not Landmo Two. Uh, that is fair. <laughs> You know, with the two of us having fought that boss in those two spots recently. Oh, no. 
You talking about last night's practice seed? Oh no! Of course not. Why would you? Why would we even talk about? Who talks about practice? I, I, oh hello, hello, child radio. That is Skull Woods Key number two in Ice T. All right, so you have to go to Ice T before you fight Mothula in Tower in Skull Woods, not Tower of Hera. So, friends, if you haven't noticed, um, we kind of don't care about the logical intended path that the game lays out for us when we play this game, because the logic can really make you do some pretty asinine things. All right, uh, this is a dungeon where you can get a friend of ours, a very good uh, NMG runner, good rando runner named Trinex. Hey, look, a bug net. Were you laughing at my way of getting segueing that one? Yes. <laughs> yes, I it was also kind of a plot twist in a way. I was not expecting you to say Trinex. I was like, not sure where you were going with this, Zeke, but I'm here for it. Exactly where I need to. But yeah, what, what boss is here, do you think? Oh, uh, it's sad, whatever it is. It's probably Lanmo. It's Armos Knights. That's just as sad. I still think Final Fantasy V has one of the more underrated boss themes. Or battle themes, rather. Oh, look, a cane and ice palace! Imagine! So, uh, now we can worry about those three TR smalls we found. Actually, uh... We're an ether and a mirror from Go. I think. It's the only thing we need... No, no we know where the pod uh, key is. Thieves Big CT2. Thieves Big CT2. All right, it's all dungeons. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I would probably not be the only person making that mistake. Promise. Getting the frog without the mirror. I like it. I don't know I if I have... like it as much as... Uh... One concern about this route from Jesse now. Let's hear it. What is he less likely to do now that he has the entirety of Turtle Rock to do? Ooh. Spike Cave. Yeah, that's a sword that's going to be sitting in there for a while. He's going to do all of Turtle Rock before. I mean, I think there's a pretty decent chance he finds a sword in TR. But do I mean, you find a good chance. Do you find a third TR small in TR is the other thing. Uh, no, but he finds a third TR small over in Tower of Hera. That's fair. Do you do Hera Basement in this situation without the mirror? Uh, you climb the tower first to see if it's map compass. I mean, I guess what I should be asking is, do we have any idea what our, uh, no, there's one item. Do we know if it's a, if it's a dungeon item or not in the, uh, basement? No, but we can find out if we pay attention. That's two items. Hookspeed Harapot, when done smoothly, just looks so good. Yeah, there's the compass. We knew about that. And that's right. going to give Jesse every reason to go clean up TR. Yeah. That puts everything Turtle Rock into logic, with the exception of... Lava Chest? And the boss. And the boss. It does put a pretty nasty orphan on the table, though, too. You mean you don't want to fade Mimic Cave? I mean, what if Mimic Cave has exactly what you do not intend to fade? Alright, you don't do Hera Basement in this situation. No, because Hera Basement, we can now see, is a map. Uh, Jesse is missing his sword from Hype Cave. Not Hype Cave. Uh, Spike Cave. The which might as well be Hype Cave. Cave. It's a place that I don't think exists. Jesse? Okay. He had me worried for a second. Uh... 
All right. We are going to see the rest of the Dark Mountain from Jesse in just a moment. And Mind Dam is probably not going to be too far behind. Because as soon as I he mean, knocks down the Armos Knights in the basement here, we're going to have a Can of Samaria for him, too. Mind Dam does have the option of clearing Palace of Darkness and leaving the two items. Because with three keys, we can full clear all but two checks. It also provides that we hammer jump here too, but that's not a big deal because this isn't this isn't full enemizer. We're not that mean. Could be the fact that a lot of people who voted for this didn't like enemizer. I could say enemizer mistake, but enough people just kind of go, "Wow, rude! You're wrong." Nice setup on that ice palace bomb jump from Mind DM. That's... Which pod key does Jesse not have? Wasn't there one on Catfish? That's probably the one Jesse doesn't have. That was the first one we saw, and it was on Catfish. There is a useless medallion we already knew about, but we can determine that Quake is literally only good for killing Pengators on this seed. And we have a hookshot that does that probably faster. Yeah, unless you feel like dropping a couple bombs. And yeah, uh, three keys, able to kill anything. You, you just fade Mimic Cave, and it doesn't exist, and you could do Turtle Rock. Little Final Fantasy X here for you in Turtle Rock. And... Oh, jeez. Okay. I mean, there's people out there that would be like, Why are you giving me shields? And there's people like me out there that's like, pulling my party horn off the table to just give it a good old celebratory... <laughs> Whatever the celebratory was, it didn't come through, and I'm probably thinking that's okay. It's probably great. I, I, I don't <laughs> have a party horn to make me real. Even my mic probably still wouldn't pick that up. Oh, hey, Silvers. That, that is an item we're not unhappy to see. Also, quietly, I, I saw it. I don't know if anyone else saw that, but Mindy M did the stair clip in Ice Palace, too. So we got some swag on the screen here. So, where do we think our progression is going to be in Turtle Rock? Or is it going to be in uh, Palace of Darkness? It's I, penned to Turtle Rock. I'm feeling Palace of Darkness at some point here. I think also TR4 is just in a dumb spot. I do too, which is why TR4 is going to be in Lava Chest. I hate it. I really hate it. Don't say those curse words to me on Restream. Come on now. It's only been 56 minutes. This feels like so much longer. <laughs> That's wow. what happens when you do commentary with me. Well, no, it's like, uh, shush. Be good to yourself. <laughs> That's, let's think about how fast the seeds kind of moved. The only thing we're missing right now really to uh, tie access to everything together is a mirror. We did steal the, the key out of the center of TR. There is a spot where that could just be the compass for all we know. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's you, you just take the key and leave. And the big chest of TR says... 
Twenty dollars. It says wow. Wow. All right, moment of decision time. Mind DM probably going right up the mountain. That would be my guess. Kane just but says go to TR. He's been saving quitting to mountain fluting from here a lot, so. Well, but. that's the hook shot, not the flute. That's why I said this has to be TR. There well, is my access. access. Oh, that's a cursed thought in chat. You want to read that one out loud? No, I don't. <laughs> well, fine, then I'll take it. Imagine Lava Chest being the mirror. I'd rather not. TR4 and Mire? It's not like this. Ever just say emotes out loud? Hey, by the way, as we approach the hour mark, now that the command works, someone hit exclam R in chat for me, please, so we can properly shout out our two... Oh, no, that's the compass. There is an item in Lava Chest. <laughs> our two sacrificial lambs of tonight's restream. The small no! key to this dungeon? Game. What is happening? Well, it's not here. We're... I hate this so much. <laughs> I mean, if I had a nickel every time there was a small key to this dungeon in Turtle Rock or the House of Darkness in a key seed. So anyway. I have a lot of nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you give these two fine fancy fellows a follow. Jesse, also known as Radical Sniper 99 MindDM. And uh, big shout outs to Akko Heish for tracking for us tonight. You know, if Zeke and I are here, we kind of put ourselves up to this one, so. Oh, this is a free boss fight here. Let's go. Uh, it's not the freest place to get blind, for certain. I mean, the freest place to get blind is by looking at the sun. You know, just, just for argument's sake, we do have a cape, Zeke. And we did get the overpowered shield for a blind fight here. Bottle percent. Mindyam doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be happy to see that shield when he gets down there. Do you, do you go back in? Yeah, Jesse's going back in. I mean, if you don't go back in now, you don't do it until you have a beat. What would be the best thing for Jesse Pine here? The mirror. Yes. Uh, what would be the worst thing? The shovel. I was thinking the book. The book would be bad, too. Especially, uh, especially where with have the mirror sword. not having... Oh, well, not Master Sword, and also... Well, it would put him back in the direction to get Master Sword with the knowledge of what's on Aether if he doesn't need to go back to it. But it also gives you access into Desert Palace for the mirror oh, that's sitting in the Lambo slot, right? We have a... Uh, that is that is not a high five. That is a Jesse running ahead of Mindia. It's like in Mario Kart when you pass the guy in last place. That's not fair. I only, uh, context note, I only play Mario Kart against the AI. Oh. It's like the later F-Zero games. Um. Oh, we're very slowly it's going to do a one. red male death warp, and each of these is going to be one heart. At least they're doing one heart. At least we don't have a fairy in our pocket. I imagine that the only reason Jesse would do this death warp is to go take care of Spike Cave, and he will get himself his second sword. We just tickle the Lionel's tummy. Just a little, yeah. That's silly. Well... Game. game said no. Game said no. All right. 
We have a cape and a blue potion. We would have to keep at least a heart and backup to use that blue potion without dying, but we're just going to run through with the cape. This is probably a little closer than I'd like it to be. Okay, that's pretty smart, friend Jesse. If you sit behind a torch, believe it or not, because of how the torches are drawn on the terrain, there's no spikes back there. That's because there's a torch back there. Exactly. You are sitting, you are hugging the back of a torch. You might as well just be like. I like to imagine. Up on it. I like to imagine that you have climbed up the backside of a torch like a tree and stopped to drink a potion and then climbed back down. We are going into mire. Which, given the key situation that Jesse is in, this is a reasonable call, I think. You know what's unfortunate about this? We don't have any keys to Meyer. We don't have any small keys. You know what's fortunate about this? Uh, there's small keys and pots. Oh yeah, you don't need a key to finish Meyer. It's just not logical to do so. Meyer could just be a pendant for all we know. You know what's fortunate about that? That bird toss. Game has blessed the seed with Aether for Meyer allowing us to bird toss. Oh man, that Bemo said no. <laughs> yeah, that Bemo said no. Alright, my DM gets his fourth key off of the laser bridge. Again, fourth key in TR just happens too often. What if these big could just be in GT, you know? Yeah, yeah, good. Hate it. I'll try last. Here's a question. Have either of these two checked their map? Tell us what the last uh, crystals and pendants are. I don't think so. Though we do have our tracker has indicated green pendant on thieves. I oh. think one of them may have talked to Saha. Oh, Akuhesh says he is cheating. Please explain. I Did you steal this information from someone else that's running in this race? Yeah, by the way. I shouted out the two runners that are here. Check out the race room for 11 other names and streams that you could gander that are participating in this very safe race over on race time. You should follow them too. Aku, if you have the information, do you, do you have the log and everything for the seed? What's the world record of the seed? This is Ruby, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth noting that these checks we're doing over here on uh, Radical Sniper's screen. They're not uh, in logic. Yeah, they're not in logic. They are apply implied available prior to GT because of the... Uh, oh, well, that's a, that is a compass in the cutscene. Because of how key logic works. Uh, the two we just did are not. Right. Didn't get to... Uh, Get to Viddy though. What's the, who's on slime today? Uh, probably Moldorm at this point, honestly. Watch it just be a vanilla vitreous. You ever had a sip of coffee and went, "Wow, there's too much vanilla in this"? Uh, no. Okay. Well, uh. I'd this like to is you, feeling I, like. <laughs> I, I'd like to remind you, I do happen to like my vanilla coffee. It's, it's, it, this seed is starting to feel like you pour. And it's. Okay, now Pod is absolutely on Jesse's mind here, by the way. You poured oh. a cup of coffee into a jug of vanilla creamer. Excuse me, game! That's the third one of those in here. And that is Pod 6. Why are there. Oh, Jesse, forgetting he doesn't have a small key. I mean, how often do you not have a small key going into this dungeon? Uh, when not playing Key Sanity. 
okay, then how often do you not have a small key when you're going into this dungeon and then to having that door still not open for you? Because you still don't have a small key. That... Shh. Quiet, you. I can't be quiet. We're commentating. Mighty M, no! Don't take the bird with you! Did, did he bring the bird he with him into the Misery the bird Mine? into Misery Mine. This place is going to the birds means a, has a whole new meaning now. That's, that's like it's entirely different type of memeing right there. <laughs> it's a very radical type of memeing. Oh, get out of here. Okay, bye. No, don't! You'll leave me all alone! Where? <laughs> Meyer is down for the birds! <laughs> Throw the perm at the Wizrobes! It's like throwing the guard at the Wizrobes. Just take a frozen guard up GT with you, why not? Unfortunately, because we grabbed that fairy at the early parts of Meyer, we did screw up our altitude variable, so no spooky. You know, it, I think that's okay. I think it's less of a time loss to lose spooky than it is to die. You know what? I'll agree. On the grounds of having died in Meyer <laughs> in the past day. And now we answer, who's on slime? It makes slime sound an illegal substance. It is a Trinex! Oh boy, here we go. It's time to hammer head shark. Little quirk of Enemizer. Uh, the ice floor doesn't work outside of TR. We talk about the palette, by the way. What, this invisible? Well, the, the invisible slime, for one. It's just this layer of gook that's on the floor and uh, hurts a bunch. And also changes color, by the way. No, how about the uh, ice and fire red? Fire red, huh? Ice and fire heads having reverse color. Ice, fire red, and leaf green. Oh. <laughs> And this will be a full clear of Misery Mire. Mi Misery Berber. Bird. The bird's nest. That's what we're calling it now. And I think we're going to pod. I don't see a situation or a world where you don't go to pod now. I mean... You have five keys. If you're mind him, you have all of the keys. You have a hammer. You have a bow. You're in boss mode. You're going to pod. Ruby? Yes? Is it weird to you that we've, we're playing a key shuffle mode and we're only, at this point, going to double dip one dungeon? No. Sometimes game be like, hey, go do everything. Here, has it, here's everything to do everything. In a complete linearity. There is something to be said. You can absolutely get thrown way off course by having... Mind the M's going to run into the door with no key. Whoa! I, I do like my... What? Two out of two runners forgot that you don't have a key going to that room. I think Mind DM was more focused on uh, using getting stun prize hearts. Oh, absolutely. So if Jesse never goes to Catfish, he still full clears pod. Very fast beat peppy song. So what order would you do pod in here? 
probably what Jesse's doing. Um, big key chest down and around to the boss, and then straight through to the back afterward. I'm missing how many items right now? Uh, you're two from go. You need the thieves big and the mirror. Or, well, yeah, the mirror, regardless. Three. What's I, the third I item? I would CT2. Oh, well. This is why Fad Keys is in its main tournament this year. And last year. And the league season prior to this past one. Because no one wants to look for Castle Hierarchies? I believe it's referred to as the uh, extra two ice rods. I still feel like th without a mirror, this is the optimal way of going through this dungeon. That's fair. So you're just obviously going to save and quit from the back anyway. We're getting a lot of help from here. Oh, great. Now we're going to hear jokes about this being a healthy seed. You asked us if I'm going to make easy jokes. Mind DM is going to have to use that green potion he has in his pocket. There it is. Trinex just isn't a fun boss. No, if you're good at hammer Trinex, then okay, fine. Uh, if you are not as consistent with your hammer Trinex, or you're not comfortable with hammer Trinex, this fight can get away from you real easy. Especially when you're uh, trying not to get hit, and also have a damaging floor right in front of you, and an early spin. Oh no. Luckily, uh, Getting those five hammer shots in is pretty easy. So who's sitting in pod? Uh, I'm gonna go with the other Helmosaur. Oh, how about the uh, the Cold Stare? Did you see a Trinex shell too? I did see a Trinex shell. I'm very confused. The best Actually, part about oh nice I've not a bad enough place to get this boss because um how much what what type of damage do spikes do? Uh gold sword. How many gold sword hits does it take to kill a cold stare? Uh, four. Uh fire rod will do the same damage class even. So that initial volley where he fire rotted the group of three into the spikes and then kind of slashed again. Every time you hit an enemy, the game goes, oh, enemy's been hit. Now we calculate damage based on what it was hit by. And while it's while it's taking damage, if it gets pushed to a different source of damage, that overrides your original point of damage. You might see this when you have sword beams and you're trying to quickly shoot the Igor in the back of Eastern Palace, but you also hit it with a sword beam instead of the last arrow, and he remains standing. And that is why I now sort of, uh, sword beam in the opposite direction. And that is also why Moth will not take damage if you hit him into the spikes, because the spikes do not do damage to Moth. Regardless of what you hit him with. So we have seen that Swamp is our last pendant, which means Mirror can actually be in GT. We could have a book somewhere instead. Yuck. That is a desert small key, so desert will be available in logic when we get the way to get in there. We knew that had to be somewhere, and we were running out of places for it, honestly. So what's the answer here? Is it the book, or is it the mirror? It's the map. What's left? What haven't we seen? Uh, does anyone know our red crystals? Uh, pretty sure... We have them. We have them? Yeah, it could be Pyramid Fairy. Thank you, thank you, Jesse, for menu buffering at that exact moment. <laughs> it's the other cane. Here's a question. Where are our swords at? Uh, Game of Sour. 
Have we seen Chester? Who, who, who is Chester? Who? <laughs> <laughs> the mirror! And actually, that mirror is going to give us a GT mode situation here. Well, what are your thoughts on gambling? Gambling? I'm in. Uh, you could go straight for... You can have the option of going straight for GT, or you can go into a uh, swamp. Or you can go knock down your clear little crystal in desert. I mean, this is, you do that first. Oh, absolutely. No, this was in reference to after the fact. I still feel like you do swamp before you do GT here, just because if you get the big key to Thieves Town anywhere outside of GT, you're still looking for the CT small. So you have to play into a little bit of density eventually. And while GT is dense, being able to run through GT is faster. But Go Money Swamp is also faster. As your mileage may vary depending on what the seed says, you know? I just don't want to see a Castle Tower key and thieves on big chest. Well, that's a map on the Desert Torch, so we're not as worried about that in particular. How is that map still intact? It was made of unobtainium. Oh good, there's a sword. Okay, we don't have to worry about all the swords being in silly locations. Still have a sword at the top of GT for all we know. And we still have a sword in Spike Cave, that's still a silly location. I mean, that's not a silly location, that's an infuriating location, you know it. Chat give, weighing in a little bit. Uh, well, one, we, we had someone asking if we'd seen Purple Chest. I believe we have seen the Purple Chest. We have not. We have not seen Purple Chest. That's right. My name took the Smith back, and Jesse, I don't think, bothered at all. Well, now Smith Chain is something you can do, but it's just not... You can. It's. I don't want not, to. But it's, it's not doable. appealing at this point, even with the mirror and the flute. It's like, you have much better plays you can make. Like, 25 items in GT? You are hell-bent on GT, aren't you? I forgot I'm you can sit on that part of the Beamos. I'm sorry? Uh, I'm not... It's not a case of me being... Folks, I think you do GT before you do Smith Chain. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's that's <laughs> fair. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'm not looking at it like... No, no I'm saying do that before Smith Chain. And it is the finest of the flavors once again. Uh, uh Neapol. Uh, uh, no, that that's that's the uh you red see, light, green left light one's of, vanilla. Uh, you see the left it. one's vanilla, the middle one's Stop chocolate, it. the right one's strawberry. Stop it. <laughs> Growing up I actually had a favorite ice cream that wasn't Neapolitan, that was just it was called Chocolate Rainbow, actually. It was a Briar's flavor. It had five different uh, varieties of chocolate in it. You heard that right, five. Okay, um, we are going to see Checkerboard Cave, and then probably... I would say Jesse probably goes to Swamp. But I don't want to assume that. There's a small key. Uh, that doesn't exactly do anything for us at this point. In fact, that is the uh, key that's gating that compass and cutscene, so it does absolutely nothing. I don't know. I, I like my, our first boomerang. Yeah, it's, it's mostly in logic. Yeah, the problem with... Uh, I feel like you go into Swamp here because you're looking for two items yet. You're looking for a Thieves Big that can be in or out of GT. You're looking for a Castle Tower Key that can be in and out, in or out of GT. I mean, the only place, the only place that Castle Tower Key cannot be, we know it's not because it's not a small key on Lumberjack, and also it's not possible to be there. Correct.
All right, pull the lever. Right lever. No, the left lever. This fight not going as well for Mind DM as it did for Jesse. They kind of got away from the initial fire rod shot and just fanned out immediately, which is not what you want to have happen. Nonetheless, it's still a fairly easy fight as long as you can just push him into that spikes there, and even once is enough to soften him. That the Master Sword will take care of him, no problem. Just don't hot don't touch Fuzzy. Touch Fuzzy, and get dizzy. Leo, you didn't have to. No, no. <laughs> I speak you this dungeon. <laughs> oh no. Well at least <laughs> at least we know the Swamp Big is not gonna be a fetch quest out of GT. Oh god. And this is also like it's our other non-green pendant, so pedestal is not happening no matter what this seed. Can't say that yet. Oh yes I can. What could possibly oh, be on? Um... No you can't. Oh yes I can. CTT is oh, not on no, ped. No, it's not. It's not on ped. <laughs> You can't convince me otherwise. I'm sorry. CT2 is just in D GT. Change my mind. Okay, I will. It's on purple chest. <sighs> okay. I, I don't know I'm about saying, that. I'm not uh, saying Swamp that CT2 an ice cream flavor, by the way. I'm not going to call for CT2 key on pedestal. I'm just saying we can't call <laughs> pedestal dead without the CT small key. Well, it's certainly not alive, I'll say that. Hey, look! It's a Skullwood small key. You have to go into Swamp <laughs> to get your third Skullwood key. When do, when, this is why we don't pay attention to key logic when we're running. As right. inter At least we don't uh, follow it religiously as to our routing. We pay attention to it, trust us. I usually just turn a blind eye to it. So, uh, ideal here would be two more items in the next two checks. Nope. Uh, it's currently still on the ideal path. We have a one in three chance of it working. That's why the map's going to be on Argus. Uh, that's right. That is why there's going to be a compass on Moldor. Oh, okay. Which is why neither of those bosses are going to be here, because it's Vidi. Because I've been calling for Vidi for quite some time, and I think now we'll finally see... The duplicate Trinex. There he is. You know, for Dry Red Eyes, Swamp Palace should have solved that problem. Oh, that is not a good color for... No, no, it is not. If your eyes look like that... See an optometrist, please. Uh-huh. And it's not here. Swamp. But that's a god swamp, yeah. I like it. And you know what? We can route this right into the Pyramid Fairy check, and Jesse can get his pod 6 off of Catfish if he wants. So uh, that puts what we're looking for either in uh, Graveyard Ledge... Or GT. Or on the shovel. We're going to see the shovel first. What? No, we're going to see Cave 45 first. We're going to see uh, Shovel Cave first. We're going to see Shovel Cave into 45. Got it. You do these now because you're in the area. And you don't want to do Smith Chain anyways. Wow, $300. You know, if I could just walk into a cave and find three hundred dollars, I'd my day would be made. Just saying. Now, quietly, Mind DM is literally just following in Jesse's footsteps. I mean, like, yeah, pretty much step for step here. Yeah. And that is not the answer either. Jesse, are you doing Smith Chain? I hope not. No, he's going to the right. He's got the hammer. He is going to do the big red bomb. Pyramid fairy. We're doing Clifford the big red bomb. Can you hear the face I just made? You're shaking your head. I don't hear it rattling, though. Oh, good. I got the 
brain seated properly. <laughs> He's doing better than mine. <laughs> As her mind, DM never went to Agina's cave, so he is unfortunately in for a sad face. I mean, this is the best time to do it now. Uh, both runners did the castle tower check, correct? Correct. Yeah, so we don't have any reason to come back in there until we have the second key and have dispatched Aghanim at the top of Ganon's tower. Oh, Jess is going to go to Catfish. Yes, he is... No, he's not. No, he's not. He's you know that saves him time and he doesn't know it. All right. Uh There are 27 checks in Games Tower. Do you think any of them are going to have what we're looking for? I mean, the Thieves Big has to be one of them, right? No. That's true. The Thieves Big could just be in Graveyard Ledge. Purple chest. Graveyard chest. Ether tablet. Purple ledge. Well, the where's the book then, mister? Purple chest. Dang it. To uh, clarify for chat, we've had Castle Tower Key 1 for quite some time. It was very early, and both runners checked it with Hyrule Castle. I won't say it was in Mini Mulderm Cave. So we saw them both go through the front of Escape and check the two checks of Castle Tower we do not know where the other castle tower key is. That's one of the two things we are looking for to finish this seed. You almost want CT2 to show up first. Uh, as a matter of fact, no. We had the Map and Compass special on Left Side of Swamp tonight. So if my DM decides to go check him, he's going to lose a little bit of time. That big key still makes me laugh. Alright, Ganon's Tower. We have three keys, so you can easily just go right-left if you want. So where's the fourth GT small? Probably just here. I still think you put off Tyler in this situation. Ooh, that was the wrong cane. Red, blue, they're the same color, aren't they? I mean, yes, but they do different things. <laughs> there's the hook shot. Nice hook shot. Hey, there's the best meringue. There's... That, but Ruby, it's not green. Will there be anything useful in Stealthos Room? Or are we going to have to go and uh, f fight... We still have one duplicate... We still have two duplicate bosses. We're still missing a Moldorm. Well, there is the other Meyer Key. Yeah, there are two duplicates and a Moldorm in this dungeon. That, yeah. Actually, that's interesting. One of those hmm. duplicates could still be the Mol a Moldorm. That is true. You could have two Moldorms in this dungeon. I'm worried about what we might see on ice here, Zeke. Oh, it, I can tell you one thing. It's not Mothula. Oh, luckily. 
And unfortunately, uh, Mindium did do left side first. Yeah, that that does mean he's going to have the map and the compass out of the dungeon. In addition to absolutely everything else. So we he'll he'll know for sure. There's no way he could have missed a check and swap. Still nothing. GT, where are the goods? Behind Icetronix, clearly. I'm still sad that the compass doesn't do anything in nice this mode. <laughs> so... Trying to be a disaster right now for Jesse. Does he still have that green potion from TR? I don't remember. I'm hoping it's not Ice Trinix. The hell are just a magic refill there. Well, in the top pot? I didn't know that either. So most of the time you pick up the... Oh, there's the gold sword. Okay. Most of the time you pick up the bottom pot, which is five arrows, because you're going to want arrows for Ice Armos. This is a Lamalus. This is honestly kind of okay. Although the ice... You can't set up anything to... terrible. <laughs> but the gold sword makes it a little bit nicer. One shot. Well, I mean, the two swings work. You can't set up like you normally would on ice, but... No, no, and no. So we means you... we're going to do Tile Room, and then Climb GT. And then... What? Graveyard Ledge and Purple Chest, clearly. That's all we have, isn't it? I'm worried that Jesse will go to Catfish. Oh, he wants a magic refill. Okay. Ah, yes, my favorite mini game. Knock the tiles out of the air with a boomerang. Meanwhile, similar to Jesse, we're getting the checks on. K45 and did he do K45 or just sto the shovel? Uh, he did K45 into the shovel. Okay. You, you said Jesse or Mindy M? I'm saying Mindy M did those checks Jesse had done earlier. Right, right, right. It's not in GT's basements 23. Okay. Let's climb. Mindy M's thinking the same thing. So as long as this keeps going in the path in the way that it is right now, uh, Jesse will continue to hold on to his lead as we see on the stream. Beautiful Mimix one. Pretty good, beautiful Mimix two. I see a lot of different ways to handle this room. And sometimes it's just, I don't even know how to predict those spikes, regardless of when you hit that switch. I know it's down to a timing for NMG players, but. Oof. Yeah, oh, but I'm not an is going to get. My name's going to get Mimic, Mimic Cave. I forgot, you about forgot Mimic all Cave. about Mimic Cave. Oh, if it's here. That is a last location for Jesse right now. Oh, it sure is. And you know what? Ugh. That's a last location for a lot of people that don't go. Oh, I'm just going to bank on it being in Mimic Cave. What if someone goes to pod earlier and they have this mirror going into... Oh, God. Um... What if it's just not here and it's just at the top of the climb? Then Jesse's got a significant lead. Yes. 
What if it's a neither? Then it's just a purple chest. Hi, Helmasaur. Oh, good. Helma uh, is not at Moldorm 2. We like that. Do you, know you know who, who is at Moldorm 2? <laughs> Moldorm! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this fight does suck here. I don't think there's a good location for Helmasaur in this tower. So this room sucks only because that Medusa is just going to keep shooting at you the entire time. And because it does that, and it's an extra sprite on the screen, it's so laggy. Mimic Cave. Moment of truth. What is here in this cave? The book leading to nothing. The big key to Thieves Town. The second A castle tower key. Container. 17th heart container when Jesse's sitting on 18? It will be mind you have 17th heart container. It's no, just it's triple boxed. boom. <laughs> Chat is right. How many eyes are going to be on this boulder? Uh, five. I'm going to go for the full eight. Oh no, not Nightmare Fuel. I always like it when there's an odd number of eyes on Moldorm. Just please don't be Cyclodorm. <laughs> As the map to GT at the top of GT, here, here's some shield, okay. What do we have in pre Moldorm? A chest. The, the last key GT key! key. Dungeon. <laughs> wow! Wow! Four! It's four! <laughs> Looky here, four eyes. It's the last check of Gaden's Tower. What's in it? Is, is this something we gift? need? It's vanilla! It's vanilla. <laughs> oh no! What? Ruby? Yes? Where's our keys? <laughs> We're missing two keys. CT2 is now in Thieves Town. 100%. 100%. No. Yes. There are two it's checks not on before pedestal. Th there are two checks before Thieves Town it could be in. Yeah, so one of them is the Thieves Town big key, guaranteed. Yes, and then the other one still could be. Have you ever wanted to do every check in the game? No. If I wanted to 216, I'd go play vanilla preset 216. Except I wouldn't do that either. Anyways, um, Graveyard Ledge or Purple Chest? Which one's our progression? Well, you check Graveyard Ledge now, because you're here. And you're going to go to Catfish. Catfish Jesse I hasn't done Catfish. Off Catfish but... I mean, that would be the thing to do. You go to Purple Chest, not Purple Chest, you do Graveyard Ledge here on your way to Catfish, and more than likely it's your progression. It's a 50-50 of it being your progression. We're going oh, directly to Catfish. We're getting pod six. Okay. Oh, that's going to be such a rude moment of... It's a small key! I mean, you actually have to think the first small key you find down here outside of GT will be pod six, because it, it has to be available somewhere. Yeah, but he's going to bank that it's he that is not here and it's just in Graveyard Ledge or something. Or that Thieves Big is leading to it. Well, he's going to see Key and think it's CT2, but no, it is not. Well, he probably doesn't even think it's CT2, but he, because it could be CT2, you have to pick it up. At some point, you just kind of toss your shoulders, roll your eyes, and kind of smile and nod. 
it, this just kind of works out that you do Graveyard Ledge now into Purple Chest as your last location. Only because you can mirror flute the Purple Chest and then flute back to... Uh, so, uh, it's gonna be back book to... Right? Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Here we were talking about like being almost in go. Twenty minute boss mode. Mm -hmm. That was almost an hour ago, wasn't it? Eighty keys is eighty keysing on us again. Eighty keys is just being all the keys indeed. It is twenty dollars. What chest. we have is in the purple chest. Chat is asking where was the mirror? Mirrors in Dark Maze Pod. So mirrors a six key blocked check. With three of those keys being the misery mire. Yeah, that that was nuts. So, in other words, I think by spheres, it would you would have to think it's in purple chest anyway. But who wants to do purple chest without a mirror? He hasn't even turned to the smith yet, so this is like, you do the smith chain with a mirror, because there's nothing left. We were talking about, eh, smith chain, yeah, but you don't, you do smith chain after GT, because GT is 27 checks. I mean, we, and I mean, look, looky here, Jesse did smith GT, and now what's he doing? Smith chain. Uh, we have, quietly what weeping. In, what was in GT? I think the most noble thing in GT was GT4 on top of GT. It's not the Smiths, but we knew that. But Jesse's Find probably a come now. on game. What must I do? Chat wants the book to just be either next or in Thieves Town. And I'm telling you, it's Thieves Big in the purple chest. And, oh. Taxi, please. Taxi. Uber, Lyft. There we go. Alright, is this Thieves Sound Big Key or Book? That's all it can be! No! Oh, are you okay? God, are you kidding me? He's going to Ether first. I I don't disagree with this at all. I only disagree if he goes to Mimic Cave. Yeah, mm. yeah I'm with you on that, actually. We had a discussion about this yes earlier this week about uh do you go back into Mimic Cave for and the answer is no. You just don't. What makes Find Ether more menu. attractive than Bombos? Mind DM, no. No, mind DM. The big key to Thieves Town on Ether. Behind purple chest. Uh, Methinks Mind DM oh. forgot to count his items in Hera. I'm sorry, Mind DM. Hey, at least you'll know the floor plan of Hera. Okay, so the route here is you go directly to the Helm store first. <laughs> uh, yeah. And if Helma drops your CT too, you just go straight over to, uh. <laughs> if he doesn't. You go back in. Yes, and you get the remaining three checks. If it's not there, you do then... catch. Oh. Are you last locating Bombos? Uh, no, I'm last locating Mimic Cave. Uh, we already know Mimic Cave. I'm saying you last locate... <laughs> you last locate Bombos from here because you want to ped in this... You can choose between Bombos and Saha. I just think Saha's faster. Who do you think rolled this seed, chat? Who do you think? Could you imagine? Anyone else? Telling the bot, Hey, we've got a daily race. Give him something to watch. Give us something that will break Ruby and Zeke in the commentary booth, please. So you mean any randomizer seed? Got it. 
Meanwhile, the hell before goes down. And the Helmosaur, you just stole Helma's lunch money. We have a green pendant turning on top of the Zeke. Yes, I was saying you turn in Saha before you do Bombos because it's faster oh, to oh, not oh. have to do Portal. I see argument for Mirren going directly there, but I could also prefer going back into Thieves Town here. Yeah, it's. I don't see a situation where you go reading or pulling pedestal right now. I think you would probably do green pendant and bombos before checking ped now. Uh, mine would be you do you pull pedestal from here so you don't have to come back this corner. All right, all right, I'll give you that. You, I, I'm saying you do thieves sound, you mirror, you do ped, you go saha, then you do bombos. That is how few techs we have left in this video game right now. Gauntlet giving Mindy I'm just a little bit of trouble. Those, those staffos are not fun. Where's half magic? Uh, clearly it's here. Right? Right here. Okay, okay, fine game. Be that way. Okay, shout out to Jesse for doing something I would not, and that is remembering not to muscle memory open the ceiling. <laughs> oh gosh, Mindium is just soaking up damage in this Gauntlet 5. Uh, okay, he's good. We are going to hit this bunny beam and get seven of those hearts back. And then the laggiest Helmosaur fight ever. No, Mindium! It's Boss Shuffle! <laughs> you saw exactly what he was muscle memorying to do, right? Oh, absolutely! It's so cute! I don't even know that strat. It's a oh, valid no. strategy, we have though. One check left in Thieves Town. Oh no, here we go. Well, you know, remember that Thieves Town small key we found like an hour and a half ago? Yeah, and uh, the fact that it kind of puts this on the table when you find the big key? It is the CT2 in Thieves Town, and at 149.52, Jesse is the first of our two runners to enter go mode. Jesse? Je Jesse. Jesse? Jesse? Is, is this? <laughs> I know exactly what he's doing. I know exactly what he's doing. Hey, guys! <laughs> He's gotta. He's gotta, right? He's on restream. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> I I respect this play. It's signed in randomizer blood the instant you say, I volunteer as tribute! I will blind pull pedestal for the restream! Oh, maybe you need a half magic for it. Nope, nope just it's just bucks. 20 bucks. Just couch cash. Move right along. We love you too, Jesse. Thank you. Castle Tower is all we have left here, and then we have to fight a big pig. Money him, no. Uh, he, he ran out of magic, and he was going to, uh, he was going to lamp it, but he and actually walked, walked off. Here. Yeah, that's deceptively a slippery slope. You can easily, because the way the uh, lamp hitbox works, it extends farther out to the... Don't ask us why. It extends further out to the right than it will any other direction. So you can actually easily hit that torch almost a tile away. We just have a uh, quick little climb up this tower here. It's much easier to kill these guys than the last time we were in here. Yeah, so while Jesse is making his way up the tower and Mindium is going to finish up GT, let's talk about the daily schedule for the remainder of the week. On Tuesday, tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we'll be playing a little bit more flute out the gate action with an open flute seed. Wednesday, we've got some casual boots for you guys. Thursday, Zeke, you want to take over from here? Uh, 
I don't have scheduled for what Friday is, but I do know that Thursday is uh, my territory. Uh, we're featuring the glitch scene with some hybrid major glitches. And then what's on Friday? Friday? I just clicked away from it to make sure I wasn't boring chat. Friday, we've got a spoiler keys for Fast Friday this week. Very fun, very fun. Right and, after the uh, end of the Spoiler Keys pilot tournament that had just concluded this past weekend. So uh, watch out, because you know, tournament season is never ending for this game, and you guys love every moment of it, I'm sure. But we're going to be ramping up more and more as things come, come across. Meanwhile, uh, we're at the top of the tower, so I guess there's one last question we can ask. We're seeing some numbers in chat, and followed by... Um, the second letter of the alphabet repeated once. Uh, how many uh, BBs? Yeah, I, I would like a bag of Butterfinger BBs, but I don't think they make them anymore. I don't think I make those anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, sadly. But, so how many but, blue balls are we going to see from Agadim, is the question. Because uh, the way the Agadim fight works is, the first energy shot he fires in, a, in his pattern will always be a solid energy ball that he, you can bounce back at it. Next three are a 50-50 chance of an energy ball or a blue balls split up and don't go back to him. And what have we got? We got, well, 15's done. Yeah, there's no 15 happening today. There's also and, no 12. Well, 12 is also dead anyways. I think that takes oh. us to 11. Mm -hmm. That so they have seven. I think is the highest. Eight or seven or eight. And I think now we're up to. I, I think, think now we're up to four is our maximum. Trying way too hard to count. <laughs> There's two, two blue balls. Ah ah ah. Count von count. Is that you? Three! Three, yeah. I, I hope not. Three is going to be our final answer, because this is the last uh, cycle here. Provided that uh, he doesn't just kind of alley-oop a curveball or something. There we go. Won't that be something? Out of nowhere, Aga throws a square. Oh, my DM getting this mushroom is not going to make him happy. Until uh, He will check the book when he gets it, to be completely fair. But I wonder if he goes to Bombos for his half magic first. Because that's where it is at this point. I was say, at this point. No, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. It there. could still be on Green Pendant. It could still be Green Pendant. You don't usually see Ganon facing down for the second phase to do uh, dashes in. So noting, knowing that and having the uh, the position in mind is a pretty good call from Jesse. Wait, I thought we checked Cave 45. I don't... I thought he did too, to be completely honest with you. Ganon, hold still, please. Yeah, Thieves Town Big is on the Ether tablet. So, unfortunately, this is going to be the book right into Bombos, but Bombos is not the answer. Well, at least he'll have the... At least oh, is this a triple? Oh, baby. That was triple. Oh, baby. Hey, chat. Provided Radical Sniper does not fall off this magically appearing 1x3 bridge that's about to come across the Triforce Room from the precipice of the edge of the pyramid. Let's see some GGs for Radical Sniper. Jesse finishing first on a restream, third overall out of a total of 13 entrants tonight. And a time of 156.08. And the Triforce, Triforce immediately I'm apologizing. I love it when it does that, don't you? I, I love how it's just, I'm sorry. You just let it sit there and you don't even let the text advance for like, until it auto advances five minutes later. And Half uh. Magic on Bombos. And joining us in, th <laughs> in the voice room is one Radical Sniper 99, Jesse GG. Thank you. Jesse. Thank you. You gave the fans what they wanted, sir. You know, I joined this just on the whim to get onto the restream to show off that MSU tonight, so why not do everything in my power to show as much of it as possible? You know, the only other thing that could have made that better is if we had a standard start. 
I, I uh, standard start. Um, I missed talking to a uh, any of the snitch ladies in CAC, and of course, nobody music. Yeah, because Moon Pearl was so free. I know. <laughs> so, uh, what were your thoughts on? Well, one, where. Where were, what were your thoughts on some of the placements in the seed? For one, I think the uh, the big one that really makes me shake my head is that book on purple chest. I don't how you go do that early. I, I honestly don't. Um, like I can see maybe doing Smith early and making that a check, but when it came to purple chest, I, I just don't see it. And I was, you know, that's a that's a play. Like, that's a tough one to want to go make. Especially because, like... At that point, you get... Like, when you get the mirror out of pod, it's just like, okay, I can beat Desert, and at that... I think, for most people, at that point, you're in GT mode. And, like, yeah, I'll do Swamp, but... Purple Chest and... Specifically, Ether Tablet. Like, I could do Ether Tablet before... GT, but yeah, woof. That book is evil. I mean, the only thing I think makes that even remotely a thing you might consider doing in a mode like this, starting with the flute, is the only situation where I might think, okay, yeah, I'm fine with this. I, I don't think most players would say that, though. Well, that's the thing, like, you know, I feel like the seed was very hard-hinting, like, go to ice, for that Samaria, like, let me give you all the keys for Ice Palace um, and all the tools for it. Like, clearly the seed wanted you in Ice, and then it gives you Samaria, and you're like, well, it's looking like the mountain, and then you get a third TR small out of Hera, and you're just like, it wants me in, in TR, and TR just overloads you with like three more pod smalls. So it's like, go to pod, and there's your mirror. Go to desert, okay. You know, do your thing. So. Unfortunately, like, as obvious as the seed was in that regard, it just was not clear from a go to purple chest scenario. <laughs> that, that pile of pod keys was hilarious. I, I loved it. I was like, <laughs> you know, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm thinking, like, I've got two and a big key, and I'm like, I can beat pod, but I, I am the kind of person who absolutely loathes ever doing um like i hate the loop i think it's a mistake uh there is just no like there is no way to convince me that doing multiple loops of right side pod is a good idea um so i was like i'm waiting give me a third give me a fourth give me a fifth and then you get them and you're like okay i can breathe all of them in misery fire <laughs> right <laughs> Also, unfortunately, my DM is going to last locate the Steve Sound Big Key because uh, my DM just paid Zora now. So I have a my question. I've even gone back in for like, Mimic Cave at this point. In the worst case scenario, that is, when you get the book as late as you get the book, what makes you decide between either doing Bombos or doing either? Um, so at the moment, I knew that I needed either. I, I knew what Purple Chest was. Okay. Like, I knew it was Booker Thieves Town Big Key. And I was like, I don't care that I could run down there and mirror at Gary and turn in the purple chest. I'm fluting to him. I, I'm, I'll I'm, manage. I don't care. And then immediately get the book and you're like, well, my options are Ether or Bombos. I don't like either. Let's just go the farther distance. Let's continue to say no to, to Bombos tablet. <laughs> And that is the minus one situation for Mind DM. He has the Thieves Town Big Key off of Ether now and will now go take care of that dungeon. Uh, and he knows uh, his uh, small key is somewhere behind this Thieves Town because uh, he has nothing left. <laughs> Mind DM has done a 100 run of the Thieves so far. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I had so little left. Like, you know, I was Zora. I waited until I could have the money. I was like, "Can I get m money and the ledge?" Um, unfortunately, that meant catfish was never a great option. Um, 
Like, I was just trying to put as much together as possible to never hit, like, a, a single check. Um, so... <laughs> And I, I see GFE's comment, like, I did the boss first. I was just like, nope. Oh, and my team's going for it. Okay. Okay, this is fair. Honestly, if you, if you feel like you have to because there's not much else left, I mean, it's in reasonable. Case, in this case, it's a density play. Oh, of course. Oh, he had, uh, he did the uh, cape glitch to the door. <laughs> but no, I was just like, at that moment, I'm thinking, like, why not just go for the boss? Like, you know, I've done everything else to kind of just yuck it up a little bit. So let's just try to save some time. You know, I saw I always leave the race room open and I, I'm seeing at that point that Koi's done and has just decimated the field. And all I'm thinking is there's no way he touched GT. <laughs> My yeah, guess I, is Koi did, did Purple Chest early. Yeah, I, I honestly, like, I, I'm thinking about it, I'm like, there's no way you, if you don't, if you hit, if you don't hit Purple Chest early, you are full clearing GT. Like, and I, I'll say most people had that happen. Because I just don't, like, I don't know, not how I would play it, but... That's that's rando. <laughs> Randomizer do be its namesake sometimes. You yes. don't know what's gonna be in a place until you open the check and go, oh well that's here. Okay. And then it's the what I'm looking for is elsewhere. Well shoot. Sometimes randomizer is going to a randomizer. Exactly. And I'll take my I'll take my 197 CR today. <laughs> Here is MindGames Go mode at 204 and change, so he'll just go take care of Helma and probably similar, well, with the with the exception of uh, pulling the joke off the pedestal. I don't mind him's commentary. He might he might decide the field's already finishing. I might as well just go pull the pedestal for chat. <laughs> So he did allude to it. We will say that uh, Koi has finished first overall tonight on the seed with a 146-43. Uh, not too far behind, about five minutes gap between first and second, and then second to third. Jesse, of course, taking third for us. Uh, GFE, who's been uh, joining us here in chat, has a 151-56 on this particular seed. Uh, other finishers include Norse Matty, Power to Mario, and Sanders 316 in that order. And Mind DM not too far after this, I'm sure. Yeah, we have get a castle rid of tower the, that we have to do. Um, get rid of that moth, and I feel like it's a lot closer between GFE and I. That was the I was not that pleased. Moth, that moth gave both of you troubles, for the record. That yeah, Mothula that's... in its vanilla location, when you're driving in expecting to fight literally anything else, it with one sword and six hearts. Did you still have potions? Six or seven hearts? Um, I had that green potion the first time. Fine DM, <laughs> what did I just say, sir? <laughs> what? <laughs> did I not say he was a commentator? Uh, and might decide is... to just pull pedestal for us. We are getting the double ped deluxe tonight, chat. Ah, oh, yes, my favorite burger. No, it's not half magic. Half magic was on Bombos, GF. Oh my God, the fluff is strong with this one. Here it comes. Pad your pockets with some extra couch cash! I'll take this behind door number three instead, please. So, all we have left is a quick trip up Castle Tower. And uh, another round of bacon. Oh, I can't take any more bacon. I'm getting fat. M maybe not. Actually, where, where are we going? Oh, we, what? I think my idea was giving us the 100% special. Oh, I couldn't even go for Saha. Oh, Dang. He's going for the green pendant turn in. Okay. Okay. Is this heart 20? No, because it's a piece of heart. Yeah. That's On hours. Lumberjack. Oh! Okay.
no, not quite 216, because there are going to be maps and compasses that we don't collect in some places. Not all. Yeah, uh, you know, we Mike were... went back in for the one I know he skipped. He, he don't... Can we talk about Mimic Cave? Oh my god. Oh no, that Were was... you ever afraid of Mimic Cave, or did it slip your mind? You just reminded me it existed. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh... It was three bombs. Into TR Michael twice. Uh, oh, no, I was not going there. I mean, I said that if if it was if something wasn't Mimic Cave, you were last locating it. Yeah, that was uh, completely forgot that one existed. I, I I had assured myself that Purple Chest was last location, and no, it was not. <laughs> no, it uh, was not. We there thought it could have been too, like for real. I think everyone wanted it to be the book, and I'm just over here. No, I, there's no way it's the book. And then it was the book. <laughs> Sigh. Uh, yeah. BFE, I didn't have Mirror at Lava Chest, so. I did not have Mirror my first time in, because I was not doing pod with two small keys. Because the other four pods halls were on catfish and all in misery mire. Uh, so the three pod keys in mire. What? <laughs> three pod keys in TR. No, they were in mire. Were they? Then why yeah. didn't I go to? Oh, because Ether was in is in TR. Right, yeah, right, right. Ether was in TR. Yeah, yeah. You got three pod keys in mire, which put you in going into pod when pod was already looking good for mine DM, but he just followed you the entire letter race. As we saw it, as he was pretty much in your shadow a lot of the time here. There, there were uh, one or two different little wrinkles to the route that he took, but he was almost verbatim everything that you had already done. Which makes things a little interesting, actually, because it's like... You see how two different runners tackle rooms and strategies in a different way when they're doing them in the same exact order. I'm wondering if he's going to go get the piece fired off Lumberjack at this point. He's had to have skipped other stuff, right? <laughs> Besides maps? Oh, um, he did left side Swamp. Actually, oh, he, oh. He, he did not go to the back of Swamp first. He actually did it before doing... Back, uh, he went back for the map in Hera Basement. Yeah, he... Uh, I don't know. We have to ask him if he did that. We down. pulled out the bug net! <laughs> Honestly, that part of, like... When I pulled that map out of Zelda Cell early, I was kind of... I was kicking myself a little bit. I was like, you forgot. You forgot the mode. This isn't full oh, no. keys. You both tried opening the uh, right side door in Meyer without a key, too. Again, my name, I think, was distracted by the fact that he was almost out of health and was doing... Yeah, he was, doing, he was uh, farming uh, Sunprise in that room. Sunprise Hearts. You picked up the pot and you're like, where is it? Oh, I used it already. Shoot. And I I say, on one hand, the number of times I've remembered that playing a non-key shuffle with... You know. Or a key shuffle with uh, memory of a goldfish. I don't remember grabbing this pot. Oh, how did I get to the left side then? Oh. Oh, I just assume that I find at least one key before I dip Meyer. <laughs> because, to be completely honest, when don't you? Right. You guys are keys, keys people. Like we never not find Meyer keys before Meyer. <laughs> it's true, and we have Ganon. Ganon is uh, wanting us to sound like breathless kazoos because he wants to remind everybody out there, the audience, that it is not possible to properly hum while holding your nose closed. There were a lot of warps on this cannon, too. Yeah, after that second hit, I was like, uh, please, stop. You know, please. The timing was such that I asked him to stop, and he stopped. Huh. You should do it again to see if he stops. Ganon, hold still, please. Oh, but... <laughs> That had the counter effect somehow. Oh, Gan held still. Yes, he sure did. 
giving us all of the fun for everyone. Mind DM will throw three silvers into this pig, and he too shall cross this one by three bridge into the room of golden glory. The Triforce awaits. Mind DM will finish with a race time clock of one, excuse me, two, twelve, thirty-one in eighth place overall. GG, Mind DM. Now let's see if we can get Mind DM to come say hello. He'll probably say a lot more than hello. I hope. Yeah. Until while we wait for Mind DM to join us uh once again uh shout outs to both of these runners fantastic fellows excellent runners please follow both of them uh shout outs to our tracker today aku i think i pronounce your name different every time hey mind dm hey. um how many checks did you make on this seed uh quite a few but i left a heart or a piece of heart behind somewhere so yeah <laughs> it's you, know where you, left it? you left it on lumberjack yeah lumberjack okay that checks out <laughs> uh, i vaguely remembered there was one there i thought maybe there was one on floating island that i might not have gotten and yeah, yeah they all add up <laughs> gg's mind dm yeah gg uh okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you the same question i asked jesse you also had a little bit different of a route to take while finishing up that purple chest run. Uh, at what point do you end up with the situation of having to decide whether you're checking Bombos or checking Ether? Minium took ran down with the purple chest. Oh yeah, chest. he ran no. down with purple chest because he hadn't done K45 yet. But if yeah, the I situation where you flute to purple chest and it's the book, what makes you decide at that point? Well, in my case, it wasn't really a decision. I got it right next to the Bombos tablet, and I'd kept my Dark World axe. The thought in my mind was, what if this is just the dumb book, and I was supposed to have been able to do all of this forever ago, and what I'm looking for is just on Bombos tablet? So, yeah. Well, if what you were looking for was the ability to shoot twice as many fire rod shots, you win. Congratulations. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I needed all of them, as, uh, as may have been discovered in my GT climb. It might have helped with your uh, Trinex as well. Yeah, the Trinex that's, on that's slime is gross. Yep, Trinex in mire is low-key not the most fun thing in the world. It just kind of backs up into the slime sometimes and hangs out there, and there's not a whole lot you can do. Still more can fun I than say that ice. wasn't the worst boss, though? Okay, uh, mm. Vanilla Moth is still literally just like... Okay, the, that boss is just generally bad, but... The one that annoyed me the most was actually that Helma in Lanmo 2. Oh, yep. The lag. Oh, yep. So it's oh, a lag I, mode I threw 2. Bombs at him. Yeah, but it's still, it's still slow. It's still a little laggy, but I threw bombs at him. It's so slow. Because the Medusa counts and the fireballs the Medusa mm -hmm. shoot at you count. And if you're trying to do, even if you're not even holding your sword out, it's just you know, the game slows to a molasses crawl. It's not even that the fight is hard, it's just annoying. Yeah, I mean, we were what? Gold, sword, red, male, 15 plus hearts, 17 plus hearts. Like, the fight was not a challenge, it was just a slog. I still insist there is not a good place in Gaines Tower to put Helmus King. Yeah, I don't think you're wrong about that, actually. I don't want to fight him in the, the Lanmo room. I don't want to fight him on top of the tower. And I certainly don't want to fight him on ice. <laughs> you know, for the, I think that's the first time I've seen an ice Lanmo, and that wasn't too bad. It threw you for a second because you tried to bonk set up. Yeah, it didn't yeah. realize I was going to slide on ice a bit more. Ice physics did ice physics things. And then you had a gold sword, and it was just free anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the gold sword I mean, of Bob's chest helps with that. You know, the swords weren't exactly in the best places, but they weren't in the worst places either. I mean, you get a sword in, in uh, Spike Cave, it's like, okay, whatever. You don't necessarily need the extra swords. So, uh... Okay, 
now, now what do we say? Now what do we say here? Yeah, I don't have any other questions for these two runners. They're both fantastic about, people and good well, friends of mine. So one one thing. Um, so this was a mode we played on the ladder back in season seven. Here we are in season seventeen. Uh, what what would you guys think about doing something like this again if it ever came across? This whole idea of the uh, the potpourri concept. I think that the ladder players put together a substantially superior mode than the ladder champions managed. <laughs> uh, I'll remind you that the complete travesty that came after this was champion swordless. Yeah, Which no, potpourri was such a played. great time. Like, I, it's... You know, there's some great modes that have come out of Ladder. This is definitely one of the top modes. Um, there's a couple of others that I've really enjoyed. Um, so, but this one is hard to beat. Even with the boss shuffle, it never feels annoying or anything. I love the ability to think differently about the game just because of that flute hook combo. I don't even care about the ice rod, but that flute and hook shot are just so much fun to work with to start. It really is hard to plan a route around those two. On your comment about the boss shuffle not feeling that bad, part of that is our starting hook and ice combo. Yeah. It means that the only thing we really need to find for boss mode are is really just a fire rod and a hammer. So. Yeah, and in this heat they were those were free. Speaking of needing a melt source, I was certainly amused when I finally got around to doing ice long after I probably should have done ice, and you go all the way through, and, eh, not really feeling this dungeon all that much, and then Samaria on the boss. Okay, game for sure. Oh yeah, yeah Samaria and Ice Palace is just a boss. feeling. I mean, the game heavily telegraphed that Ice Palace. It really you did. knew something had to be there. I mean, but That's it gives the thing, you... like... <laughs> When the seed starts pushing you in a direction, it was like, there's not a lot of like push or pull in any direction to start. And then this, the stuff just starts happening in a certain way. You're like, I beat, I beat skull and it's like, whatever, but it's like, oh, I've got a bow and I've got an Eastern big, you know what? Let's go do East. And then it's the mitts. Okay. Well, at the same time, I've also got all this ice palace equipment. I wonder like. And then it just keeps doing that. Like you finish ice and you have most of the tools for TR. So like, you know, that's kind of what it's saying to you. And you're just like, when do I pull the trigger now? Shouts to TR4 on laser bridge again. No, again. don't shout that out. Don't you ever shout that out. <laughs> I should have just done a pull to me and opened that door. Oh, By the no. way, congrats, my Indium. I love that. No, if I do it, it's okay. I Only I can open that door and always find the TR small in the dungeon. Everybody, like, a bunch of my friends who will watch me stream and I'll open that door by accident will then be like, yeah, this key's in the dungeon. I'm an idiot who gets lucky a lot. With that, though, uh, I think we've come kind of to the end of this race for us. Yeah, really not uh, much else more to say here, although we will once again uh, invite... Please, go follow these two. Go follow these two! I'm telling you, they are quality content, and it's not just Zelda. Uh, any final thoughts from MindDM or Jesse? Uh... Thanks, guys, for coming. Thanks, SG, for having me on tonight. And have a great rest of the night, everybody. I'd say my 683,000 classic Tetris PB earlier felt substantially better than the seed, but here we are. Uh, thank you all for putting it on. And uh, Jesse, we'll go around again sometime, as we always, always. do. Yep. Congratulations on the Tetris PB. Nicely done, sir. Alrighty. Once again, a big thank you to Akahesh for giving us the tracking business, the extra eyes behind the scenes. Speed Gaming for putting us on Zeke for saying, hey, let's do this thing. And I said, okay, fine. It's amazing how often that works. I just find a good time that you and I can both talk, and it's a <laughs> mode we both like. And all of a sudden, we're in a booth, and I don't know why they let us do this sometimes. We're crazy. I'm sure we'll hear about it one of these days. But for now, 
We're going to bid you all adieu. We'll see you again tomorrow night if you feel so inclined. 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be doing some open flute, but until then, make sure you are following our family of channels, Speed Gaming 1 through 6, for all of your speedrun and randomizer needs, and also those foreign language affiliates of ours for our other foreign language simulcasts, or even just native speakers covering the same games across the globe. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>